pretty good here. It hasn't fallen off on me yet. Like that. Oh! And welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and we got a lot of catch-up to do. So today we're looking at this from Zingbo, which is part of the City Girls University campus set. If you haven't seen the main university, go watch it right here. You know, they're pretty cool. They have a set of tons of them. They have a lot. And this is another one that I'm reviewing for you right now. And of course, we got Deer, who's looking very pretty today. I look like I just came straight out of a horror movie. Why are you making me look like this? I'm running from you or somebody. Come on, you don't look that bad. You look like one of the girls. I tried to, you know. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what I did with your lips there. But anyway, check it out. We're looking at here. Zingbo's The Happy Dormitory XB12006. 1,334 pieces. So out of the whole Zingbo City Girls University series, this is the second biggest one. I'm pretty sure it is, the first one with the university. And you know, this is like a home modular house, so I figured I'd build it and review it for you guys. So here we have on the front, take a look at that. It's that pink rooftop. Man, these really look like strawberry chocolate bars. You either really love it or you just hate it. I don't know if it's like okay. I actually really kind of like the whole color. It, it kind of stands out but the, the rooftop makes it pop out even more. I'm still trying to figure out if I like that or not. I'm not sure. I don't know, what do you guys think? You know, let's just take a look at the whole thing and you know, after the video, if you really like it, you can go ahead and buy it yourself or you can buy it from me at brickmeupscotty.com. So let's jump right into it. And we're looking at the front here and I put a little bit of the accessories here. You do get a bike, you get this blue bike and you get a blue scooter. No, your eyes aren't deceiving you. I know it looks red here, but it's blue. Trust me, it's blue. Not red. Or maybe I can change the color of this to blue. Did that work? I can't find the blue scooter, but you know, they all look exactly the same. They're exact, just different color. So, you know, my bad if I, if I, it's somewhere in here and I couldn't find it. Now you do get this nice little outdoor set. It's got four chairs, a little table, and a flower pot on top. Very nice. You can just put it anywhere here that you want to put it. I really, really love the vine that's growing up here. I think that was a great idea. And I kind of like this part of the structure too, like how it kind of pops out like that. You know, it just, it has some depth to it. I like that. It's really cool. And what's interesting is it has a section here on the side that folds up like this. Did they need to do that? Not really. And it doesn't make sense to do that because it looks really weird from the inside, but I'm going to keep it back open. I'm going to look at the, the front here. You got this two little lanterns. You got a st stickers. Ah, uh, it's all stickers again. It's flowery, it's got butterflies. It's a nice little sticker, it's a nice little add-on. And I like how they added a little tiny butterfly here on the fence, it's actually there. You know, I think for the grass part and the flowers, it's like totally up to you how you decorate it. You can probably put more branches and you can, come on, I'm sure we all have like thousands and thousands of flower pieces, the least thing that we actually want in every one of our sets. But you know, you can go nuts with this one and make it really colorful and really, really pretty. I like that along the bottom here. All the windows are loose, we all know they're kind of loose, but you know, that's just like your preference if you want loose windows, or you go get yourself some official windows so that they're nice and snug, but they're all kind of loose. I did like how they protrude the bricks here, like they kind of stick out. That was kind of a cool little touch. This part here, the balcony part, kind of has like a gone with the wind feel, right? It's got like a balcony. This looks more romantic than the romantic home we looked at. You got a little tiny butterfly sticker here. I don't know why they had to have like a single butterfly sticker, but at least they're putting a little bit of touch on there. So there you go, that's from the outside. Now we're gonna flip it around and turn it to the back. But before we do, a quick shout out to these guys. Yeah, thank you Jeremy from firstpersonclothing.com for sending me some new shirts. Finally, after 60 or so videos, I need a little bit of change up. So if you're into gaming apparel, let's see, joystick, and even movie related themes, they got Star Wars. Solo, anybody watch Solo? I did, I thought it was pretty okay. Firstpersonclothing.com, get yours there. I'll put the link in the description and they're in the US, so it's actually gonna be really cheap for you guys to order. It's not like me ordering it from over there to send it to me, but go check them out. Really, really cool. Thank you, Jeremy, so much for this. And yeah. Okay, let's move on. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, it's all opened up from the back. But that's okay. You know, like I said, you can close this one and it looks a little bit more full. But it is kind of weird having it closed off because it doesn't really make sense. So starting on the very left, you got a huge dormitory here. You got three beds, corner room here, and it's really simple. You have some drawers here, this green. You know, they're going with this whole primary color thing. It's kind of nuts. You have a table here that rotates. Right here in the center, this is kind of weird, but it's the kitchen and it kind of hangs out and you can actually just take that away, but then you don't have a kitchen. And you know, when you close this piece again, it just it just misses the kitchen. So uh, the placement for that is kind of strange, but you know, it's the detail and it's actually pretty cool. I like the frying pan. You got a printed egg on there 
and underneath here you got the stove and they have a container inside there it's pretty neat and you got a little cabinet here on the top so next to that of course we have the living room this is where all the girls are going to be holding the frat party and being like oh Psy sigma I, mean, I haven't seen a dorm movie for a while but anyway if anything i kind of wish it was a little bit more extended out more like full but it's okay the couch looks really close to the entrance door here kind of would like to have some space when you walk in and you know they crammed everything in here but it's still cool you got a little tv here what is on the tv oh it's like a beauty pageant show of course it has to be beauty pageant girls room the girls dormitory you got a print it yeah this is actually printed there's a little record here Good sound. I think we've seen that somewhere before. I can't remember. And in the middle, I like the coffee table. I think the coffee table's simple, but very nice. And at least they have objects on there. So I do like the sofa in the living room. It's an L-shaped. I like the size and everything. And there's a printed cushion on there. Is that from The Simpsons? It looks so off. It looks really weird, like the color. That I'd maybe remove that. I do, however, like the little curtain here. That's, they do like a little roll down thing. It doesn't really roll down, it's just like a door piece, but that's pretty cool. They use a sticker there, and I like the printing of that sticker. It looks pretty cool. Very artsy fartsy. We got the bathroom. Yeah, at least we got a toilet in this dormitory. If we didn't have a toilet, They'd have to run all the way to the one at the university. They use a sticker for a mirror. It's not my thing. I kind of wish they could have used like a real glass reflection thing or, you know, we've seen some of those in the other set. But anyway, it looks very retro. And you got your sink here. You got a toilet here. Nice pink toilet. I like how they actually put a little plunger here on the side of the toilet seat. That's very nice. Reminds me I gotta clean my toilet seat. Got a bucket here. And a sink there. There's not much to I think it's just like soap and I'm not sure what the pink stud represents. But it's a simple, simple sink. Oh look, the shower door opens. Now you can shower your minifigures. I mean, do you really wanna do that? But why would you wanna put one inside there? You know, it's just it's just for show here. What are you guys thinking? Uh, they didn't tie all the rest of the house. I mean, it's really small, I understand that, but I kind of wish it was more flushed out because it looks it looks half done in here. You know what I mean. So that's it for the first floor. Now we're gonna look at the second floor and there's no staircase to the second floor. What were they thinking? How are they supposed to go up there? Jump, fly, climb the kitchen, stove up there. Because they can say dormitories, it's just gonna be bedrooms. So of course we got more bedrooms there. And we'll take a look at the first one from the left here. I do like the cabinet design. I mean, it's got some design feel to it, which is kind of cool. It's not a typical cabinet. I'm trying to see if I can open this door. Sure can. Look, you can see my little finger in there. Hello. Hi, everybody. There we close that. There's a little gap between that and this balcony here on the front that you can't really like, it, it's just a piece of glass there. You can't get through it. So there's a bit of a gap there. It would have been actually nice if they did make a second floor a more of a balcony so that you have access back there. I do, however, like this, this curtain style. I mean, it's not really a curtain. It's just like, I don't know, it's just flat tiles that they put down, but it, it has kind of a modern feel to it. I was like, finally, something a little bit different. And it does kind of work for me. Now, on the very top, there's actually a small, small area, like a balcony, but there's no way of going on it because it has a window there. But at least they use that. So you have like, you know, you can still put a minifigure on top there. This must be the leader's room, right? Who's the leader of this frat party? You got a nice little makeup table here. You got the brush, you got a couple of drawers in here. A heart, I don't know what they're gonna use that for. What is that for? I'm not quite sure, that little heart-shaped thing. It's a little stool here. You got two more beds here. And they have a little air con is that no, that's not an air conditioning. I thought that looked like an air conditioning along the top. And of course you got the door here to go to the balcony. The balcony here is actually tiled. Why couldn't they tile the rest of it on the inside? You guys already know me. Anything that's not tiled deserves to be tiled. Dang it. So over here, you got this little swivel radar thing. I actually think this is okay. There's nothing wrong with it, but I just kind of wish they had something more here. I mean, it's a girl's dormitory. Maybe a little bench here, or like a sun tanning place, or a mini pool, something, you know? I think they kind of just went, nah, we're just gonna put an antenna there just because we want to. So finally on the top here, even though it's just the roofing, you got at least two like solar panels and these two things here, which is like, I guess the water pumps or electric generators. It looks like a DJ booth here, yeah? Like put that there, it's like put this in the room downstairs and you have a DJ booth. You see, it probably would have made more sense to put this up here. Now I have like this thing to, you know, put whatever I want to put here. You can put a bike there, put a scooter there. Cool, I just found a place for the outdoor table and put it right here next to the satellite. Okay, so now that we're finished with that, one of the cool things is that actually the thing does come apart, so you can take this part off, so you, you can move the roof out of the way, and then you can take this part off, here like that, move that out of the way, and now you got to modular city. Modify it however you like to modify it. But now what I was talking about is, and this also comes off by the way, here. When it closes here, if 
but I lift it up without it falling apart like you saw earlier. It's kind of weird like that. Like the bathroom is right next to the living room. So you can take a shower while you watch your friends watching TV. How sexy is that? Not really. I don't know what I'm talking about. I didn't forget to mention on the very, very top here, there's a number 37. No idea what that represents. Maybe it's a university in the street or the name of this dormitory. Now, of course, we got the mini figures. So the thing is with these girls, I'm not gonna show them to you because they're exactly the same as the university from the video. I'll put it in the link again so you can guys can watch the mini figures section. This set comes with eight of them. And you know, if you look at the, the manual, here's the book. On the back here of the book, it tells you on the bottom like which ones are X'd out and which ones are included. Every set has the same one. I didn't even open this one yet. It's actually, they're still in here. Because they're the same ones from the last set and I don't want to duplicate them. So maybe I'll give this to one of you guys as a free gift. If you see a bunch of girls in your boxes, you're welcome. So there you guys go. This is part of the City Girls University campus set, town, whatever you want to call it. And this is the second one. And I got a lot more to go through with you guys and more stuff coming. So thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys later. So until next time, break me out. Ha ha ha. However, from like a top down view, like that. Oh, oh shoot.